Hi, this is Peter Burke, Product and Sales Manager for Flow Sciences. Today I'd like to introduce you to Flow Sciences' newest product, the task specific vented enclosure for the L1A Fitz Mill. It's designed for containment of potent powders while providing personnel protection to eliminate harmful exposure to active pharmaceutical ingredients. This custom engineered low flow bench top powder hood has achieved containment levels of less than one microgram per meter cubed. This was measured through factory acceptance testing in our laboratory under ISB guidelines using lactose as a surrogate powder. A full copy of these test results are available upon request. In this test report, what you'll find is that by bringing in the actual piece of equipment and interfacing with the Flow Sciences containment enclosure, we're able to actually operate the equipment by loading at the top, letting the equipment run. When it's completed its process, we can raise the adjustable sash to unload the finished material at the bottom. This allows us to maintain a constant face opening and a uniform flow rate throughout the process. It also allows us to truly understand the ergonomic interface by the operator so that we know how they're going to work with this throughout the day or throughout the actual process. With having our laboratory here at Flow Sciences, we're allowed to either bring in the actual end users or the particular customer. If they're unable to arrive on site, we now have the ability to provide real-time live WebEx, where the operator can then sit back at their facility and still participate within the testing. This gives them the ability to watch and instruct us throughout that process so that we're able to give them the results that they're looking for. As part of the design process, we must first truly understand the application. This helps us determine the materials best suited. For this particular application, we chose a three-quarter inch polypropylene frame. For the sidewalls and adjustable sash, we chose the three-eighths inch clear acrylic. We utilize an anodized aluminum airfoil, a one-inch thick dished chemically resistant phenolic base. As an alternative, we could have chosen a stainless steel framework with a tempered glass sash and sidewall frame. The L1A Fitz mill can be mounted externally to the containment enclosure allowing the digital controls to stay outside the dirty zone. The entire Fitz mill can also be placed inside the enclosure for total containment. Flow Sciences offers three filtering options. The first is tying directly to a dedicated house exhaust system. Because these units are low flow, we only require approximately 200 cubic feet per minute to achieve 70 to 75 linear feet per minute at the face opening. The second option is to filter and recirculate back in the laboratory utilizing 4 inch deep HEPA filters that are 99.99% efficient and also utilizing the Flow Sciences fan filtration system. The third option is filtering and then tying directly to a dedicated exhaust system. As an alternate to the standard HEPA filter, Flow Sciences also offers bag-in, bag-out HEPA filtration for a 100% safe change procedure. The side access port connects to an 8 mil non-porous bag that allows the operator to isolate finished product in one side of the sleeve. Once samples have been transferred to the multi-purpose isolation sleeve, a standard crimping procedure is performed. The operator twists the bag to isolate the samples. Two cable ties are placed next to each other to form the seal. The operator will then cut between the cable ties to separate. Nylon tape is then applied around the cut area to complete the seal. This allows the operator to safely transfer the samples to another location for testing.
Contaminated milling components are separated and placed in the multipurpose isolation sleeve for transport to another location for cleaning. The standard zip tie and crimping procedure is applicable after isolating the contaminated milling components. Cleaning is simplified with toolless removable top and rear plenums. A 70-30 IPA wipe is most commonly used when cleaning dry powders off of working surfaces and plenums. As an alternate, a dry wipe can be used. It is recommended that the wipe is saturated first with the 70-30 IPA solution prior to cleaning the surface. The Berkshire Isolator Cleaning Tool featured here minimizes worker exposure while cleaning hard to reach areas. Located directly above the primary port is the standard waste chute for laboratory disposables such as gloves, masks, sleeve protectors, and cleaning wipes. If you have technical questions, feel free to give us a call at 800-849-3429 or email us at information at flowsciences.com. The LNA Fitz Mill enclosure pictured here is exclusively available for purchase through the Fitzpatrick Company. For more information, contact them at info at fitzmill.com or 630-530-3333.